Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm sorry for the general lack of uploads or activity on my channel at all, but I've moved past that phase. I've gained new motivation to create some content for you guys because we're starting off with a, something very different and new. This is a whole new style of content I'm trying out, but anyways, back to the video. Alright, so in this one, we are going to be transforming this iBook clamshell, which is the same machine that I covered a long time ago. I'll leave the link up above in the iCard if you want to go back and watch that video. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is transforming this iBook clamshell into a Mac OS 9 and early OS 10 gaming machine. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so before we begin, we need to actually install Mac OS 9. Currently, this computer is running Mac OS 10.3, so to begin, we're going to have to power it on and go to the boot picker by holding down the good old option key. And now we wait for this very slow old computer to boot up. So, oh wait, here it is already. And so we're at the boot picker, so now I can put in my home copy of macOS 9.2.2 Universal. So I'll get that inserted right now. Alright, so what we're going to be doing, because I just inserted the CD, we're going to click on the CD and boot into it in order to begin with the Mac OS 9 install. And while we wait for it to load, I'll just go on with what we're doing here. So, what we're going to be doing is on this iBook clamshell, we're going to be installing Mac OS 9.2.2, which is a latest update for Mac OS 9. And while we wait for it to boot, there's the Happy Mac icon, and here we are at the... 9.2 boot screen, so you're just gonna have to wait a little while and wait through the entire boot process in order for us to get on with the installation. I will come back once the boot process is finished and we boot into the installer. Alright, I am back. We are at the desktop. It appears that everything has loaded, but not really. We're just waiting for the boot process to finish up and nope it appears we have to start a whole nother process to rebuild the desktop file so I'll come back around the quarter of the way there and I'll update you in case anything has gone wrong or I magically discover something else alright so we're around a third of the way there and pretty much nothing has happened it's just continue to load and while I'm here I just want to give some background so sorry for the interactivity in general it's just that of the busy and lack motivation to do videos so now that I'm back um, like I said in the beginning I'm gonna be doing a whole new unscripted style anyways sort of for this interruption back to the video alright so this appears to have taken quite a long time but ooh, I just noticed there is actually a stop button so we're gonna click that and see what happens Great. please don't break ooh that did something Alright, we are making progress here. We are at the install screen, so I guess let's just get on with partitioning the hard drive. Or, yeah, I think it's partitioning the hard drive. Alright, so update. After I have contemplated my life decisions for a while, I am decided that I am just going to YOLO it and do the macOS install without doing any sort of jazz to the hard drive. And... Here we go. So here we go. We got the little hot scotch, hot hopscotch icon. But anyway, let's do this. This is like a destination disc. I'm not sure if this will screw up my current. Uh, yep. Project options to perform a clean installation. But I guess we're gonna go with that because I'm an idiot and have no knowledge of how Mac OS 9 and Mac OS 10 file systems interact. So we're just gonna go with what it tells me to do. Alright, so how I install, continue, I guess we're going to have to, yep, agree to the terms, continue, I will accept, I, don't worry, I already read the terms beforehand, I am just a very fast reader, it only took me a fifth of a second to read all those terms, I promise I know what I am agreeing to, but anyway, let's customize, because there's a lot of random file crapware on here, like, Text to speech, I don't we need that. Or what else is this? Personal web sharing, Apple remote access. I'm probably not gonna 
go around. Actually, I'll uh, only uh, let's actually not customize because I don't want to screw it up big time and not install something that it needs. So anyway, we appear to have about 31 minutes left, so I'm gonna just fast forward a little bit till we're around halfway through, and if anything goes wrong, I will be here to tell you. Alright, so I am back. It appears that the progress bar is full. It should be done any minute now, so right now we're just going to wait for it to say that it's done. Uh, yep, and it appears to be done. Just gotta wait for it to load. Cause so far, it seems like absolutely nothing has gone wrong. Oh, uh, yep, here we go. So... We are actually going to want to quit, and so now we are going to want to restart the computer. Let's restart and to make sure it boots off the hard drive right now. So actually, we're gonna boot into the iBook HD and see what happens. Because I'm pretty sure yeah, I only installed it on one hard drive, but yep, it appears that my OS 9 install did absolutely nothing. So yep, it appears that. Actually, update. No, I actually did do the install right because it shows the separate file system here. So we are just going to restart. And yeah, I think I actually did do it right. So scratch everything I said before. I am actually smart. I figured out how to do it right. So now I'll get back to you once it's fully booted to confirm that yes, I did it correctly. Alright, so I am back. This thing is pretty much done booting up. I just want to see what happens. Uh, yep, here we are. We are at the desktop. I'm pretty sure that, that means we're done. And the OS 9 install actually went well. There's no setup assistant. Actually, yes, there is. So here's the setup assistant. You're just going to have to wait, and I will walk you through the entire setup assistant. All right, so here we are, Mac OS setup assistant. Click right to continue. Shall do that. Yes, I am going to be speaking English. I will put in my information, so I'll be back. Right now, we're done with that, so yeah, uh, currently no daylight savings time is not a thing. Actually, I think, yeah, this time is 100% right. I don't know how they did it, but yes, this is actually the correct time. So, yep, this is close enough. My time zone is New York, United States. Don't write that. If you use the simple finder, no oh, thank you local network, alright, so we're gonna have to fast forward through this. Alright, so we're back, so this session is now ready to make basic settings, so let's just let it do that. I'll set my username and all the other information that I put in. So, let's just wait a minute for that, and here we go, we're done, so so we can just quit and get to work on this computer. Alright, so it appears that I have actually successfully installed macOS 9.2.2 on this computer. So, now let's just go ahead and eject my CD. Alright, so now the install went well, but actually there is one thing that I have to put on before, before we continue. I have to install or put on the Platinum sound effects. Play soundtrack, platinum sounds, everything. You guys really need to hear the platinum sounds. It may not be too loud, so turn up the volume. <laughs> Perfect. When I get the platinum sound effects on, I'll we shall get gaming. All right, so to wrap up the video, we are going to be playing one game I installed so far, which is Tetris. This is the original Spectrum Holobyte version from the mid-80s, which was released for Mac computers. And yes, it still runs even on OS 9. So we're just going to get into a game, and this will be the end of our video today. So before I end it, I just want to give out some credits. So I got the macOS 9.2.2 installer, like the file that I burned to a CD. And also the copy of Tetris I got, this all came from the Macintosh Garden, which I 
recommend if you want to browse some old Macintosh abandoned wear, copy it to CDs or USB and put it on your old old Mac computers. And so that'll be it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.